Hi everyone, today I explain you how to use the facet type mechanical calculator. In other videos I've shown how they look inside, how they work, it's still a pinwheel calculator, but instead of moving the carriage with the output counter register and the counter register, we move the input register. So, I want to insert a number, let's do a sum, I insert a number, it appears here. I turn once the crank and the number goes over there. Here I can clear the input counter. I insert the second number I want to add to the first one. I turn clockwise. And here I have the sum of the two numbers. To clear the registers, here I clear the counter register. Here I clear the input register. Here I clear the result register. To do a subtraction, I insert the number I want to subtract, but I have to do add, add it first insert it in the output register, then I insert the number I want to subtract from the first number, 345, I turn anti-clockwise, the other way around, and here I have the subtraction of the two numbers. <coughs> to do a multiplication, I insert the number I want to multiply, let's say I want to multiply 4,579 by 83, so I turn three times, one, two, three. I move the carriage eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here I have my result. 4,579 by 83 is 380,057. If I want to add another digit, I move the counter and I say, here I have a little arrow pointing where I am. And I say, I want to, instead of 83, 783. I turn another seven times. Four, five, six, seven. Voila. Here I have the result. Three millions, etc. Division, I insert my number, 987, I push this button and it moves it straight away to the end. I insert my number, there it appears, I have to clear the counter as is usual, and now I insert 610 and I move to the end. And I start subtracting until it tells me I'm underflowed. Okay. Move the counter. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, so 987 divided by 610 is 1.618.0327, which is an approximation of the number phi, or the golden number, anyway. Okay, we can hardly, I mean, I, I always say we cannot really do square roots with these calculators, because every time I have to change my input number, I have to clear it. So, if you watch the other videos and you understand how the the square root works, you will understand that it's really, really difficult to do it here because you have to keep track every time at which point you've got. And it's going to take a lot of times because every time you have to subtract one, you insert one, you go to the end, subtract it, and then you have to clear, insert three, go to the end, subtract it, then let's say it didn't sound, add five, go to the end, subtract it, and this would be on the first round. Then on the second round, you have to keep track of the other numbers. It's going to be very, very complicated. Anyway, this other calculator, which is basically the same principle, it works the same way, you see, it looks even the same. It's probably just a lot uh, more recent. Let's, let me move it on the main camera. Okay, there we go. It's more recent, and it's a Swiss brand, Precisa. The button look 50s. It's very more quiet, it's got this ergonomic crank going towards the user. It works the same way. Just here is the clearing mechanism. It works the same way, I don't want to do now again everything. I just want to show you it's got one feature which is interesting. I clear all the counters and let's say I want to do a division. So I know 987. I have the button here div. I move to the end and when I insert it now 
We see that the counter didn't go up to 1. So it's got an internal mechanism that recognizes when I push the div button that I'm going to do a division and it doesn't increase the counter by 1. So it's one thing you have to think less once you have to do many divisions because in all the other models we've seen so far I always had to go and clear the counter after I input my second number, in this case 610 and I move it, move it here and then etc. and I go on like this. So this is one particularity of this Precisa calculator which seems to be quite interesting. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening.